there is no way you declare war on Niger by Nigeria, by ECOWA under the leadership of Nigeria that will not be seen, that will not be seen as a Nigeria declare Nigerian people declaring war on Nigerian people. And that will destroy the future we are envisaging. From the coup in Niger is unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but it is understandable. Who in Niger seems to almost complete the cycle of uh, military takeovers or in African states in the Sahel, apart from Senegal, Mali, Guinea. Uh, Burkina Faso, in addition to Chad, which had earlier gone military. So we have uh, a situation in Mali that seems to have completed the cycle of military takeovers in the Sahel, in the Western Sahel. And um, as I said, it's unfortunate because uh, uh, on the surface, at least at it looks as if Africa is going through a rollover of, uh, of uh, uh, democratic uh, restoration that we seem to be witnessing since the, the late since the 1990s. However, the response of uh, ECOWAS that seems to be gravitating towards military intervention. Uh, by ECOWAS, uh, especially now that Nigeria is the chairman of ECOWAS, calls for serious caution. It calls for serious caution because um, first, there have been these previous previous uh, military takeovers. Who in Mali? Who in Burkina Faso? who in, uh, in, uh, in charge and they have the, 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 the ECOWAS has, has gone entirely diplomatic, not military intervention, not military intervention. And, and so why should it be military intervention now in Niger? That, that's the first, the first uh, question of logic that, that is posed. The second is, is that Nigeria is now the chairman of ECOWAS. Nigeria is, is limitrophe, proximate neighbor of Niger. In other words, uh, we are talking of Nigeria's one of Nigeria's most strategic, immediate, proximate neighbors. Benin is another. Cameroon is another. Chad is another. Equatorial Guinea, across the, uh, the Gulf of Guinea, is another. But Niger is, is, Niger is very different. Niger is too close to Nigeria that you cannot, uh, ECOWAS under Nigeria cannot, cannot entertain, must not entertain military intervention in, in, in Niger because there is no way you will not see it other than Nigeria declaring war on Niger. And declaring war on Niger by Nigeria is like Nigeria declaring war on itself. Because the people are so close. Um, those who are familiar with my inaugural lecture of 1984, would, would, even with a nodding, nodding acquaintance with all my works, all my work, all my life uh, on border relations, will, will appreciate that Niger 
is of is, is, is a special is of special status to Nigeria. It's the same Hausa, Nigeria, Niger. The whole of Southern Niger, Southern Niger is also, and is also the, the, the part of Niger that carries its major population. Now, Southern Niger and Northern Nigeria, particularly what you would now call North Western, North Eastern, we are, we are talking about the same people. The same people all the way. And uh, there is no way you declare war on Niger by Nigeria, by ECOWA under the leadership of Nigeria that will not be seen, that will not be seen as uh, Nigeria declare, Nigerian people declaring war on Nigerian people. And that will destroy the future we are envisaging for ECOWAS itself. ECOWAS began, yes, as uh, a regional in in initiative of uh, coalition of sovereign states of West Africa in 1975. But ultimately, ultimately, we are looking at, at, uh, at, a, at, a, at a regional integration, not so much of sovereign states, but more integration of African people. And ECOWAS has taken this initiative, has led the whole of Africa in this initiative. Uh, take the example of uh, uh, cross-border initiatives program, the CIP of 2005. The African Union Border Program of 2007 is, is a direct offshoot of from uh, from uh, uh, ECOWAS uh, uh, cross border initiative pro program of 2005, and there, the the essential about cross border initi initiative uh, cross border initi initiative program and and the uh, uh, African Union border program is the emphasis it places on priority of integration of cross-border proximities. Now, cross-border proximities is another way of referring to cross-border cross border lands, border lands across the across boundaries, um, uh, border regions. The same people, the same culture, the same language across the border, which, which, which historically have had to recognize the boundaries of Africa as, as, uh, as, uh, as given us by European powers. But, but people who have not, who have, they, 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 they recognize the boundaries, but deny them as bound as uh, lines that, that must divide them. Now, Nigeria and Niger boundary is one such typical African boundary that that is meaningful only conventionally, only conventionally. In reality, it is cross-border. The border closures, for example, that Nigeria had from time to time indulged itself in, is of no meaning to the local people. And that's why it is wanting to close the border by pronouncement in Abuja is another thing to see what is happening in the border area itself because you cannot close something that has no, no lock and key. The same people, the same terrain. So we have to be very, very careful. ECOWAS has to be very, very careful, particularly President Tinubu must be very, very careful. Not long ago, on the 1st of August, he was in, uh, he was in uh, uh, Porto Novo for, the, for this year's independence anniversary of, uh, of Benin Republic, which was very significant and very exciting. I, I, I saw a video of an artist 
who was invited to entertain the and the artist was a, was a Yoruba speaking artist and he spoke Yoruba and made renderings in Yoruba to the delight of both President Tinubu and uh, and uh, and Talon, the the host, the host president, because Talon himself, although fun, is of Yoruba origin. In fact, his family name is Ogedegbe, which suggests that he might probably be of uh, <laughs> of uh, Igesha, Igesha origin ancestrally. So you are you looking at two two presidents, two African. Uh, heads of state that are of the same cultural background, essentially. So, um, it is it is this cultural, human, historic population dimensions that when we look at at, at border relations and therefore international relations in in Africa, if we look at them closely, cannot permit. Uh, military intervention. And I have always felt that uh, President Tinubu's uh, uh, leadership of Nigeria at this moment and leadership of Benin must take very, very important note of this. And that um, we don't go to a war that exposes us to being seen as brothers waging wars against borders.